Hey guys, it's Rainy. So today I wanted to share with you how to make fun, sparkly, shiny, and festive accessories. I wanted to quickly apologize for my voice. It uh, sounds like I'm losing it, but since I'm home for the holidays, I wanted to wait for everybody to go to sleep so I can make this voiceover. For this one, the first thing that I'm going to be using is this template of like stars. I'm going to link the picture of this on my blog if you want to go for this, but I'm going to be cutting the small one and one of the big ones. Then for this one, I'm going to be using some clay and I'm just going to roll it over a piece of wax paper and I'm using my roller with my rings, those two green things that you see to help me with the thickness. I do have the DIY for the rings as well, if you want to check them out. And once I have done that, I'm just going to let this clay dry. Once my clay is dry and it has hardened, I'm going to be marking the shape of the star with my Sharpie. And I'm going to be doing this twice the big star and twice the smaller star. And then I'm just going to cut them. It's pretty easy clay when it hardens, this kind of clay. It hardens, but it's uh, kind of like flexible so you can cut it. And I forgot to mention, you can use polymer clay as well. Then I'm just going to be taking my smaller stars and I'm just going to be gluing them to some ear paws. Then for my big stars, I'm going to be taking ear wires and I'm just going to cut that part and I'm just going to glue on the back that part that has a loop on it. And I'm going to be doing that in like both big stars. Then I'm going to be taking another pair of ear wires and I'm going to open them and just practically make them earrings like this. And then I'm going to be taking more clay, I'm going to roll it, but I'm going to be taking this piping tip, it's the round one, then cut that in half. So I'm just going to be rolling those two halves in like small balls, and I'm going to be doing this process twice, four little balls out of this. Then I'm going to be rolling more clay, and I'm just going to be using this cookie cutter, and I'm just going to uh, pretty much cut it like if it was a cookie. I'm going to just roll that and make it into a huge ball. And so once I have done that, um, I'm just going to be taking this needle tool. I do have the DIY for this one as well. You can use a toothpick as well. Uh, if you use a toothpick, the hole is going to be bigger, just so you know. And I'm just going to be marking those holes. And for the small ones, I'm going to be taking a couple of ear pasts at that part because basically I need this just two parts and I'm just going to place them on like the small balls. So I'm going to be using this chain. I'm going to cut it for the length that I need and I'm just going to place the chain onto the ball. This chain, I think, is called box chain. I'm not really sure, but uh, it's really thin. But I'm going to be uh, connecting the two balls through tiny holes that I made there. And I'm just going to let this two guys dry. Remember how I told you that I was going to be making four small balls? Well, for the other two, I let them dry, like totally dry. And I'm just going to be taking my uh, X-Acto knife and I'm just going to be cutting a bit of like excess in there. But I'm just going to be making them into hair clips. So I'm just going to be taking one hair clip and I'm just going to glue it. Once everything is uh, dry, I'm going to be taking some glitter glue, the silver one, and I'm just going to paint the whole thing. It's pretty easy and I'm just going to be giving them a few coats until they're opaque enough. So for the back of my earrings, I'm just going to be using some black acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint it, giving this few coats. Those were the most challenging ones, I'm not gonna lie, but I first painted the front part of them. Once it was dry, I went ahead and painted the back because you can't really touch while you are painting this. So it's pretty much up to how would you feel better while painting them, but that's what worked for me. I really like how everything turned and they are really easy to make, to be honest, all of them. They are festive, they are sparkly, they are fun. At nighttime, because of the sparkles, they look amazing. Honestly, I really like this one. I call them my shiny disco balls because they remind me of a shiny disco ball. The clips for the hair, though, they were really tricky to just show you how they looked like on, but hopefully this kind of like gives you an idea. They look delicate, but they kind of like make a subtle statement, I feel like. But yeah, I really hope you liked them. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff I upload weekly. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.